What a change a year makes. People are realizing that you can't elect people who go to Washington with a strict agenda and say they'll never work towards compromise. Never work to come together to resolve our issues. I mean, I'm the first person here, and everybody here realizes we have to get our debt under control. But you don't do it by eliminating critical investments in our infrastructure, in education. We need to continue to make these investments to be a strong country, to grow, and to grow our economy into the future. And those are the, and that's what we have to continue to do. We cannot balance the budget on our senior citizens and working families. He quickly went to Washington, and he became part of the problem. He is the problem. So we're going to run an aggressive campaign, a hard-hitting campaign, and we are going to make sure that he is held accountable for these votes that he has made against this district. I'm Zach, my campaign manager. Zach's waving at me. Zach, he's got to be in the gym, got to be working out, <laughs> getting his strength up. We are going to go, we're going to work hard, we're going to make sure that we win this election. I'm asking everybody here to join us to make sure that we can do that. It takes a lot of money to run these campaigns, folks. This time we'll have the time, we'll have the resources. We got the total support of the DCCC, total support of labor, and we just had some great polling data that came back. The League of Conservation Voters, which when I was in Lansing, I had a 100% voting rate record with them. They, they're um, invested in this campaign. If everybody up here seen the ads against Benishek, holding him accountable for his support of big oil, and some of the votes that he's made against the environment recently, he just voted to um, the EPA can no longer regulate mercury pollution in the Great Lakes, so it's going to create jobs somehow. But they did polling, too. And right now, today, well, this is about a month ago, but I'm sure it's gotten better for us. The election was held. He has a 32% approval rating right now. And if the election was held today, only 36% said that they would or would likely vote for this man. So that is how it has changed in one year.